think of the beginning of my life, there had been utopian ideas. Nobody thought that they might become reality, but they have become reality today. So you cannot grab far enough away from you in your ideas. And this, I think, reassures you also some better understanding later in life. But you must be aware that when you carry such a lamp, that you have to sacrifice. But if I would have said that right away in the beginning, they wouldn't have liked that. So I had to do something for the craft. And I made it a must for every student that he had to do an exam before the craft's chamber in Weimar. This is still an institution, still in existence today. So that beyond the technicalities of a good journeyman in the craft, he then should learn all the charming Tudor mansions and Renaissance skyscrapers with all modern conveniences has almost vanished. This type of applied archaeology, as I call it, is dis disappearing fast. Modern architecture is not a few branches of an old tree. It is new growth coming right from the roots. The irrepressible urge of critics to classify contemporary movements which are still in flux by putting each neatly in a coffin with a style label. We should have the courage to be utopian and think out certain things which may be desirable for men to have. But in that moment, we don't know whether we can do it. But when you believe in it, and if you trust that you can do extraordinary things, then comes the problem how to reach that goal. And this goal should be reached in a very direct way that you do step by step everything real. First exhibition of the Bowers, there was a beginning to doing something. That was the worst time we came into in the inflation. There was simply no money to build up a decent architectural department. Only when we came to Dessau, there was a little bit more money available. And I thought now is the moment where we have to build up an architectural department. And I got in Hannes Meyer from Switzerland, who had done some very good design work. Doing hard with accepting students, you know, we got in the later years three, four times as many applications than we would see because we wanted to have really good people who could develop something. The interesting thing was that the students in this stimulating atmosphere of the Bauhaus produced the average because he was so stimulated by the time of the